Hello everyone, I'm Honeywell and we're playing Planet Base. When we last left off, I believe, I believe we just had a security guard die. And what are we doing? Uh, we're growing our base, increasing our colonists, and, and what? Our food is low. It's been a few days since I played, so... I'm kind of uh, catching up on what we were doing. Our food is low. We have a not enough security guards. 277. We probably need a little bit more power. Okay, let's start with uh, the food here. And what are we doing? Let's increase that to 10, 25, 30, 25. Uh, that'll do. We're gonna keep accepting colonists, but I am going to turn off traders or traders, uh, visitors for a while. Uh, because I'm not happy with our food, so I want to get in more food. Um, I also know we're kind of reaching our. Reaching kind of our uh, bed cap. Not that it's that big of a deal, but you don't want your entire base to be tired because, again, the more the more needs uh, that aren't in the green, the less efficient your colony your colonists are. So we want to be mindful of that. What about the bar? I'm gonna recycle these. I'm going to recycle these drinks machines for now. That's not even occupied. And I'm going to load up our control center here with security. So what is that? 369. And the the really unfortunate part about our A security guard who died is that they take their guns with them and while <laughs> uh, unfortunately in planet base the uh, the colonists are a bit are completely unskilled and nothing differentiates one from another so I mean if they die you kind of just get more uh, as far as gameplay goes um, so unfortunately they have no value beyond that but when the security guards die, they take their guns with them, and their guns are harder, take more effort. Oh no, we have hungry people. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh no, we had a hungry person. Okay. Uh, food is a food is a problem. I want more food. No doubt about that. So I think we're going to go ahead and put in uh, an additional biodome because we're not stopping our colonists from coming. Uh, but we are... So we're definitely going to need water. Do we want this? You know what? I think we do. And I'm even going to take all of this starch. And this will probably be the last time we need to... Uh... Do I have money for this? I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll buy it all. 
Uh, I think this will be the last time that we need to buy uh, starch, and I probably should just put in a fourth mine so we don't need to buy metal, but... Uh, one thing about that I kind of do a little bit different, 609, 609. Uh, one thing that I do a little bit different than I used to do, um, because it just doesn't work as well, is I used to just overproduce everything. Uh, definitely. These are the types of transmissions that we always want to accept. Basically what we're doing is uh, selling our med kits uh, for $25 a pop, um, which is great because then there's nothing to trade back and forth with the ships and we get the full value. They don't take a commission uh, off of that. So that's exactly what we want to do. And we can accept those calls even while we have visitors turned off. So they're not going to take up any food or resources while we're getting this all sorted. Um, but we'll still get in income from them. Okay, and with that, we need some storage and then we also need a processing plant. Uh, because as we make more, we're going to need to process more, blah, blah, blah. It's just a, a pretty much at this point of the game, it's just a more, more, more type of thing. Everything that you already have, you just need more of it. And uh, this is the least interesting part of the game after uh, completing all the challenges for so many times. It's just, I mean, it's... It's pretty unappealing to me. So, uh, actually, if you want me to continue with the map and get to a higher population, um, make sure you give this video a, a thumbs up. Um, if not, I'm going to conclude uh, that people, I mean, the views have dropped off considerably on this, so I'm going to assume that... Uh, this is the uninteresting part for... Oh, we're actually dipping into the... Dipping into the negative with our water. We might do two... Let's go over here and put in two power collectors. I'm going to assume that uh, people are as... Uninterested in this part of the game as I am. But I could probably do. I could probably do a couple more episodes if uh, if people wanted. But otherwise, maybe we'll get to a hundred and call it a day. I don't know. If you want to see more, leave a leave a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's see. Food, plastic, and we have this all equal right now. Since we still have, since we still have spares, and when we overbuild and build more than what we have to uh, spend, more than what we have to uh, on hand, that's when you put your other processes at risk. Your spares. Um, semiconductors, bot construction, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's what I'm looking to see. But I think I'm just going to queue up a bunch of stuff and uh, go for broke if you were. 7, 6, 12. Okay, we're going to put in this another large processing plant and this is going to help uh, do two things. This uh, massive biodome right here is going to be depositing all the starch over to the security so we're gonna have this processing plant just entirely for starch. Once we have this processing all the starch we'll convert everything on this side uh, to metal which is central for these mines. 
We'll also put in another airlock. Which gives people an option so they don't have to queue up into the base. Um, and this will eventually will be all bot repair. So this might be the quickest uh, route into the base for our driller bots. Might be this section over here. Uh, let's pick up the speed. Did I put two? How's our water? Okay, I have two water collectors going out over there. We have that over there. We have a mix of colonists. What did I want? Let's just pick up the pace, let some of this stuff get built. Uh, yeah, and we're just gonna... We're just gonna sit up here and uh, wait for a minute. Uh, do we want to buy this? If you were going for all the achievements, you might. 65% commission. Uh, I'm not going to do it at 65% commission. Uh, things that I'm still interested in are the tomatoes and the storage. Let's see, here are all the milestones. Uh, Century, that's 100 population. Uh, megalomania, that's building a monolith. Uh, this is getting all the tech, and then population 300. Okay, so we have our storage in this processing plant. We're going to go ahead and spam uh, plastic processors here. And do you know what's something else I haven't covered at all uh, that's going to start to be a consideration? Is um, oxygen. Um, there's kind of a, the oxygen is a little bit, the oxygen system is cool, but it's also a little bit buggy. Um, the rate, the oxygen flow doesn't flow as uh, fast as it uh, maybe should. So even though, even though we have oxygen uh, fairly evenly dispersed uh, throughout the base, um, towards the late game, once once the population gets higher and higher, um, you need a lot of oxygen in all of the busy areas in order to in order not to experience some problems. So we're going to start sticking uh, oxygen generators. Um, we are going to be using them liberally. So even though. Even though there is an oxygen generator attached directly to this biodome, um, this biodome is going to be busy. And even though there's an oxygen generator uh, right next to this cafeteria and right next to this dorm, you can see even this empty dorm, even though it's completely empty, there's only 19% oxygen in this dorm um, instead of the 22 it should be. And this oxygen generator itself is only 20%. This is this is giving you like a huge clue um, that you're going to have oxygen issues on this side of the base as uh, as your population grows. So we're going to be uh, attacking some oxygen generators around the base. And another place I think is right over here. Do I want to do this here or do I just want to do it here? I think we want to put it on the bar as well. And uh, $20. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. I prefer the medical calls, but I'm okay with the with those others as well. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put another telescope console in here. since I took out the one in the security room. Let's try. 
Turn that off. Turn that flight pad on. And pick up the speed again. And we'll start making some more of these connections. And we need another biodome. Because right now, even with this almost full, um, we have, with the cafeterias that we have, we can support about um, 40 meals, and we're not making that. Uh, so we need more. And we don't need any of this, so we will dismiss them. And we'll tack on another biodome. And we're going to put that right here. And how is our structures? Oh, okay. They must have just finished that. And our power looks good. I'm not sure about our power collectors. I hate these graphs. Hate them. They can hold off on that. If I had the metal, I would uh, put up another row of power collectors right now. Okay, so uh, pretty much we've gotten to the the more of the same point is uh, where we're at in the game. It's basically doing everything that we've kind of taken into consideration up until this point. Um, putting in food, putting in canteens, putting in dorms, trying to locate those uh, at different portions of the base so everybody has a relatively uh, close access to those services. Um, building more industry if that's what you want to do. Um, I know I had fun in the beginning trying to uh, kind of maximize my resources. It was like I was happy to have hundreds of metal and hundreds of plastic and uh, hundreds of uh, spares so if that's kind of your aim, um, right now, as you've got more colonists in and you're getting a mix of people, you could set up like another mining area. Um, really just anything, everything that you've done to this point, you would do more of. So if you want to see me continue this map, uh, leave, leave a like if there's enough interest. Um, I, I could probably do a, a few more episodes on this, maybe get to 300 population if that's what you want to see. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to call this the uh, end of the series. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, it's enjoyable if you liked Planet Base, or if you liked Banished, I think you would enjoy uh, Planet Base. Um, it does a few things uh, that I like better than, than Banished. Um, but there's some, there's some lax areas that it lacks. And one of those is, uh, a base planning tool, which is probably why when you, when I get to this point, uh, after playing the game for so many hours and, uh, uh, having high populations on all of the planets already, uh, it loses a little bit of its appeal. If I could be planning out uh, areas of my base, I might be more interested in uh, in keeping it going so I could uh, see those plans come to fruition. Uh, but that is what it is right now. Mm, not very interesting to me. Um, uh, but I do appreciate those who have been following along. So if that's something you really want to see, uh, show some interest. And I would probably be able to do that before the holidays were upon us. Okay, thanks again, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode, this series, and hopefully a, a new game will come along uh, shortly that I enjoy playing as much as I have uh, Planet Base, and I'll do a few uh, Let's Plays on that. 
Okay, thank you again.